So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Tree Eagles, what's happening? First game of the season is here. Bring me three points! It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this 2019-20 opening day game. We're off to the Hive, it's Barnet for Yeovil Town in the Vanarama National League. So yes, we're still down here, but I've had some good news. This season, I'm being sponsored by Playmaker FC. Yes, me, I know. All the hard work has finally paid off. I mean, they pretty much sponsor every vlog I go, but still, never mind, eh? And they said to me that if I hit 2,000 views for each video, they're gonna give me two pound. A Crack. Mate, I'm in the money. I know. I know. I know. It's loud to money. Right, Alex, what's out for the ladies? Time to love money, money, money. Go going up the ass in my bread and butter. My birds bite free and my cars are nutter. Loads of money is shall I utter as I wave my wand to the gazes and the gutter. So yeah, I don't need you lot anymore. You little small people out there that's been following me from day one. I'm a Hollywood A-lister right now. Please don't unsubscribe. I actually still need you. While we're in this tin pot league, I'm struggling to get views as it is. Please, I need you. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get into football news. So it's a new season and it's the first game of the season. Don't know if I've mentioned that yet. Yeovil was relegated from League Two and now they join us in this tin pot league. Welcome! They ended the season, played 46, they won nine, they drew 13, they lost 24, scoring 41, conceding 66, giving them a goal difference of minus 25 and they ended on 40 points and they finished rock bottom at 24th place. <laughs> Darren Snar is the gaffer at the Glovers, and he took charge on the 19th of June 2019. So he's taken zero games in charge. Moving on. <laughs> Number nine, Reese Murphy, who just joined this season from Chelmsford City. Played 43 games and scoring 28 in all competitions. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. 21st of the 10th, 2017. Akinoda gave us a lead on six minutes, but Otis Khan equalised with less than 10 to go. So with that all being said, I know you've missed it. Let's get to the ground. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points and then let's get a fuck out of town. Fuck you, Yeovil Tan! Stealing Reese Murphy right from underneath us. Thinking he's going to smash this tin pot league and get you straight back in the football league. Well, I tell you what, you can have him. Because our number nine is so good. I mean, oh, wow. You wait till you see what I'm talking about. I mean, you ain't seen nothing yet. And neither have we because... We don't have one. Bollocks. You bunch of wankers! Come on, Barnet! Barnet starting 11 today in a 4 2 3 1. Locke makes his debut in goal. Your back four of Shay Alexander at right back, David Tonda at left back, Ricardo Santos and Captain Cannon Reynolds is two centre halves. The two in the middle today, Ari Taylor with another new boy, James Dunn. Your three in the advance midfield role. Dan Sparks in the wide left, Midi Lito on the wide right, and Jack Taylor in the number 10 role, and Simeon Akinola up front on his own. And this is our Yeovil Town lineup for today's game. Opening 20. It's nil-nil. Yeovil have been a little bit more dangerous than we have going forward. They're doing a long ball up to Murphy. Our defence at the moment is a bit all over the place. Loach has been called on a couple of times. Let's see how the game goes. Oh, it's a goal! Fuck! 
half hour in, it's still 0 0. We just had our best chance. Sparks puts a ball in, Jack Taylor gets up. Looks like it's going to drop into the goal. The keeper just claws it somehow away, and they managed to clear their lines. Yeovil, we're controlling a lot of the play. Yeovil have had the better of the opportunities. They've tested us more than we've tested them. And opening 30 minutes, a minute later after yeah, that, Shea puts in a lovely ball. Minutes, Sim we? gets up, it just goes over the bar, still 0 0. It's taking us half hour to wake up, and now we're here. Five to the half, it's still 0 0. Nothing has changed. Yeovil still look dangerous going forwards. That's it. Oh, About two minutes to the half, it's still nil nil, but we've just hit the bar. We have a corner, we play it right out into the centre midfield, gets played in, we're dancing around with it. Sim somehow manages to get a shot away, it's hooked up, it's hit the bar, keep a click. None of us expecting that. Half time here at the hive and it's Barnet nil, it's Yeovil Town nil. It took us about half hour to wake up and have a crack at their goal. We're playing it around quite nice, we're doing really nice passing, but we're not going anywhere with it. Yeovil have looked more deadly, they've tested their keeper. Reese Murphy looks dangerous, they're doing a lot of diagonal balls, working their channels, long balls up to him. He's very far. He will get in behind us if we're not careful. Sim at the bar. We thought we'd score by Jack Taylor, but somehow the keepers managed to push it away. Is it open a day nerve? Let's see what the second half brings. Come on, Barnett. Two minutes into the second half, it's still nil nil. We should be one up. Sparks whips the ball in. Akinola, he's only got the keeper to beat. He's hit it straight at him. Either side of the keeper, we're one nil up. Oh! Fuck! 60 minutes in the second half, it's still 0 0, but how are we 4 0 up? I don't know with the chances. Dunny wins the ball in an area he shouldn't do. He lays it off to Akinola. Akinola's one on one. He squares it to Sparks. Sparks has only got to put his foot through it. Fanny's around, taps it, doesn't take a shot, deflects, goes for a throw in. It's unbelievable. It's like we're too scared to shoot and we keep crying out for it as a fucking striker. And in the 60th minute, we've just been given a penalty. So Tonda does a lovely ball about 40 yards all the way down to the goal. Sims one on one with the defender. He gets brought down. Sim to take. Oh, he has a short run up. It's a little bit nervy, but he slots it into the bottom left-hand corner. Barnet one, Yeovil Town nil. Yeovil ain't even turned up in the second half. 15 go, we still need one nil. Murphy with a free kick from Yeovil. Beat the wall. It looks like it's going in, but Loach, what a great one-handed save and push it wide. That's about their only chance in the second half. About five minutes to go, we still lead one nil. Hope we can hold this out. Take three points on the opening day. Into the 90th, we still lead one nil. Four minutes added on. So the game finished, Barnet 1, Yeovil Town 0. It's already a better start to the season than it was last season. It's our first win on opening day since the season 2014 and 15. First half was very tippy-tappy passing by us. Let's just keep possession but do nothing with it. While Yeovil looked a bit more dangerous and had the better of the chances attacking us. It did take us a good half hour to actually have a proper shot on target against Yeovil. And I thought for the first 20 minutes we did look a little bit nervous in parts. But at 0-0 anything can happen and you're always in the game. In the second half, Yeovil didn't turn up and we could have had four goals in the first 15 minutes that's why you gotta love football it's a funny old game i don't want to take anything away from sim and his goal but at times his decision making wasn't the greatest and i don't think he can play up front as a lone striker loach dunn taylor brothers and santos for me were the standouts in the game so it's a good marker it's a good start we need to carry this on there lovely quick round up no ranting and raving i'm sweating and i'm hot enough as it is in this volcano heat so next up is sutton united away on a tuesday Let's let me know how your clubs got on in the comments below. Don't forget to do all the usual bollocks. And until then, I'll see you later.